Well, my name is Paul Chaliva. I'm in the cross country track and field team. I always specialize on the long distance. So, may, let's say uh, in the cross country, I really like the 10K cross country. Then maybe in track, I like 5K. Yeah, I'm so good at 5K, so that's, that's my sport. Yeah, that's my favorite sport, 5K, 5,000 meters on the track. Yeah. One of the one of the things was competition. I wanted to move from a NI school to a D1 school. At least have that atmosphere whereby people compete so fast, people run fast. Yeah, that was my main goal. So one of the main things that made me to come over here because it was because of the Kenyan friends. We have some Kenyan guys, so I'll not feel lonely the first days when I come over. So that, will, that, will, that was one, one of the main things that made me come, here, come, come over here. Yeah. We got Mike. Yeah, we have the first, the first guy, the, the guy who finished school was Mike White. He just graduated. Then we have a sophomore who is Poker Tam, and then Abraham Kemboy, both sophomores. Yeah, I live with I live with both of them in the same which live in the same house. Yeah. In my life, I'm not a early person, but uh, mostly I wake up at six in the morning. Maybe go for a run. Go for a run at six in the morning. Uh, then, then after the run, come get ready for class. Maybe at nine, I go for my first class. Then the day goes by till like maybe my I finish classwork maybe at four. Um, sometimes it depends. Sometimes I walk at four. Maybe I walk sometimes. So it depends on the schedule. So then in the evening take dinner, do some assignments, go back to bed, wake up at six again. It's just like a cycle. Yeah. I would say in a week I always run like eighty miles a week. I miss running in Kenya a lot because uh, it's kind of different in this place because the terrain over in Kenya is a different terrain than the one here. So in Kenya you have like valleys, hills. So I feel like running in Kenya is much fun too because we got the altitude and then we got like a lot of steep hills. So that's the, that's the, that's the good thing. Yeah. My training in Kenya was good, but not that good as the one I'm getting now. The, the training I used to be doing in Kenya was uh, not that much, of my, not a lot of mileage, but now I'm getting, I'm getting in like a lot of mileage. And then uh, I didn't used to be doing like strength training. Now I'm getting like strength training and weightlifting a little bit. So that's the good thing. That's the strong point. Yeah. There's, my family, they're so happy with, our, with what I'm doing. They always see me now as a mentor to them. So that's a good thing. People in my community now, now look into me. They're always like, man, you are great. They're always happy with what, with what I'm doing so far. Yeah. Really, the biggest mentor in my family is my mom. My mom doesn't entertain jokes. So whenever I was in Kenya, I didn't have a coach. I used to be self-trained. So whenever, whenever I would sleep in, no, I would, I, it would always be a war. It would always be a war because she's always like, so she gets annoyed. She wants, she wants me like to train, just get a good training. Yeah, she, she used to be encouraging me. So that's the good thing. She has been my mentor in running. Yeah. As of now, I'm kind of among the top guys in the nation. Because at the moment I'm ranked the best guy in the nation in the 1500 meters, and I'm ranked second in the 5000 meters, so that's pretty much good. Yeah. My ranking in the world is uh, I just looked I just looked a few days ago I'm ranked 13th on the on the 1500, then I'm ranked eighth on the 5000 meters. Soon and very soon I want to be be running in pro. So I want to be, I want to do be these big races and see where running can take me to. I want to see your skills.
I don't want to go to pro and then be there and I'm not doing anything. I don't want to go to pro and I start the race and I always be last. So I want to go in there and really, really give those guys a hard time. So my main goal is when the time comes, when I'm that good, I know when I know when I go to any race, I'm gonna do good, be maybe have a shot of being top three. I don't see the reason, the reason as why well I should stay in school. I might go pro and then just keep on uh, doing my classes while I'm running. It. Just use water. The ingredients are water, milk, and the Kenyan tea. Mm -hmm. You know, some Kenyan tea. So pretty much what you use is you use water. And then you add water, you mix water with milk. Then after a while, add add the add the Kenyan add the tea, the Kenyan tea, tea the Kenyan tea bags, and then just leave it just leave it to cook for like till it boils. Okay. Add some sugar, make it sweet. That's it. It's like caramel mocha, but it's sweetened. So that's that's the Kenyan tea now. Running has been part of my life. I see running, I see running as it's. It's just like without running, my life is done. I always see like I always feel like running has been an encouragement to me. It's a source of hard work. That's where I get my hard work in. Because, for instance, uh, you have to wake up like very early in the morning. Even if come rain, come sunshine, so you have to go to the to the trails, run, run. So, it's something hard, but you gotta be determined and focus on the goal. I see myself in 10 years being a great runner, being a world, world record holder, maybe in the 5,000 meters. Yeah, that's, 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 that has always been my goal. I'm so happy being in UNCG. First of all, my teammates and coach, coaches, they encourage me a lot. With my teammates, they're always funny. Most guys are funny in the team. So it's always, it's always like, I always feel like I'm in a, in a family. So I always take my team as my family. Yeah, that's the good thing. To be a good runner, you gotta have to work for it. You're gonna be determined. Nobody should tell you can do it. Go for it. So that's all I can say.